What's up, guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo. Welcome back to Life is Strange. We're staring at this Not Safe for Work poster on Chloe's wall that looks to me like a girl in a bra with a dog head. Although maybe it's like a Daft Punk helmet or something like a balloon. I can't even tell the art style of the wall posters. It's a little bit smudged, but this game is far from sloppy. So far, it has been an excellent and intriguing adventure with terrible lip syncing, but alas, we gotta find out what's going on, so we're leaving Chloe's room to see her secret spot in town. Busting out the window, and away we go. Thanks for supporting the first seven videos, by the way. Keep hitting that like button if you're enjoying. We'll keep cruising. <gasps> the lighthouse! That's from the dream sequence at the beginning, the creepy hurricane thing. Oh god, this could get good. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Yup, that nightmare that felt like a lucid dream of some sort, except things were a lot darker in the dream. There was a big spinning hurricane in the distance and no Chloe. This is exactly where we were for sure. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Yeah, this is how the episode, this game all began. What's this? Trash, beautiful bay, woodpeckers. Does that say something on trail? Use caution on trail, dangerous drop-offs. I like the woodpecker sound effect. I'm a big sucker for cool sound effects. Like the step sound in, uh, in Dark Souls is one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> oh, God. Poor Warren. Equals keck. I mean, I, I mean, like, I think I'm pretty cool, but I don't know what equals cat means. Is that some slang? <laughs> is this supposed to be a weird face on the side? Like, what the heck is equals keck? Poor Warren. <laughs> Earth to Max, your white knight Warren here. I knew you were worried about me. Poor guy. I hope we go to the drive-in with him in upcoming uh, episodes. That would be fun. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call you back later. Okay, I swear. No problem. You still have to tell me your big secret. Keck. I'm not supposed to say, like, KKK, but that would be... Like, ESRB would have a field day with that or something. I don't know. Roll the logs Birds down the hill. They can always escape. Well, I don't know. Birds don't probably fly very well in hurricanes, nor if they get shot. So they can't always escape. Or if they run into the window like we saw a little while ago. This is a beautiful scene. Holy crap. For some reason, like, this game echoes the trailers I've seen for Rhyme, which is a PlayStation 4 uh, indie game. Not in the exact same way. It's not as heavily stylized, but it's almost there, and it's like a very cool visual look. Like, I love the way Life is Strange looks. What is this? Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. <laughs> Best friends forever, pirates. Let's look at this map. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. So cool. we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Reminisce some time. That's what we're doing now. What is this creepy gorilla? What, what's here? Campfire. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Clearly. The Bigfoots are everywhere. <laughs> Graffiti, gorilla, Bigfoot, chinchilla. Eating enchilada today. Can I go in here? Too bad it's locked. Oh. I remember racing up and down the steps. More graffiti. How long has that been here? Dress no one. That's kind of creepy. Did Chloe write that? She had all sorts of weird black marker writings in her rooms about, like, can't sleep, everyone lies, like, I don't know. Chloe seems like she belongs in Devil May Cry. 
Maybe I'm, I'm rushing to judge, but that's kind of how I feel. This is like the most serene view ever. I can't imagine a hurricane all of a sudden occurring. And I wonder, though, if the game storyline now is going to merge their nightmare in some strange, freaky fashion. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. All right, let's back up and take that picture. And then Chloe turns into Sora from Kingdom Hearts. We got it. You can take a look at that if you want. Boom, achievements. Not sure what it's for. Light leak. Taking the picture. Okay, so this is episode one, so I wonder if there's different... We're going to get, like, more photos per... Um, per episode or something? You can see the locations. There's a lot more throughout the five episodes of this game. Um, you know, there's, what, 4, 8, 12, 15, and we've been to 5. I'm guessing we'll revisit some of them, maybe in different capacities, or, like, different scenarios. Like, oh, God, there's a lockdown, so you now you're in school in a different way. Our phone, um, that's episode 1, Chrysalis. Chrysalis? Alright, Max, Jefferson, Kate, David, Nathan, Victoria, Rachel. Um, it's cool because you can kind of go here and there's new information about all of them. You can read about it if you want. If I knew I could warn my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants his flasher back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he's tons of cool TV shows and films. Thank God it wasn't porn. Okay, you can read little bits about everybody. Cool. Chloe Price, what do you say to your best friend after five years of silence after finding out you saved your life in a bathroom? Nothing. I feel so, like this is Max's diary, which is kind of an interesting way to write it instead of just bullet points about the characters. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott. Anyways, cool stuff. Let's talk to Chloe. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Hmm. Should have taken his photo, or should we tell him about Kate? Eh. Let's see if she knows anything about Kate. She definitely knows a lot about Rachel Amber, so maybe she's familiar with all the students at Blackwell. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Should we tell her? Or not. Hmm. Those actions all had consequences back in the garage, but I bet that was a, if David knew we were snooping around rather than her. Unless, what if she's secretly a double agent? She's on David Madsen's side. They're investigating some creepy crime with the Vortex Club and Nathan Prescott and Rachel Amber. Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Both of these are good answers, so I kind of want to go back and, and do both X and B. But I wonder if we hadn't opened that cupboard, if this conversation would be different, or if Max would still reference the surveillance cameras, but we would just be like, huh? Although it did say there was consequences to those actions, so finding it and opening that cupboard and seeing his camera system, perhaps that's what led to this conversation. Interesting. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I 
thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Weird. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Mm -hmm. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. You already told the principal and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, no. Not again. Why a head rush. And here we are. Why am I here again? Ghost deer. Save me, ghost deer. I'm going to follow the ghost deer. The spirit animal. The deer fox. Okay, so let's just hold up and... Still up there? <laughs> I have to find out. So Nathan is a complete creepy perv, drug-dosing jerk. Although Chloe is trying to use him for money, so I'm not sure she should get so many merit points herself. The lighthouse is now on and flaring up. What is going on in this game? Rachel Amber Boulder smash! I think I died. Let's rewind. Um, <laughs> Rachel Amber and her, clearly they had some sort of relationship going on. But, uh, like... Her disappearance, the Vortex Club, David Madsen, like everything in general. It's just crazy. Okay, there's a spiny tree. Am I like stuck now? Okay, so I'll rewind, I guess. I guess we'll just hightail it quick. Alright. I can just rewind the tree and walk up to the lighthouse. Pretty cool. We weren't able to rewind the conversation with Chloe, but I think we picked the right answers and got some good uh good info come on spirit fox deer with your long luscious neck lead me i've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. yeah this is weird huh down they rumble tumble we can keep our roll on towards the hurricane I wonder if it has something to do with Chloe saying she wanted to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay? It's kind of freaky. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Isn't that a hurricane? Is this for real? <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. Holy crap! Spirit deer, what's up? Oh god. It's not fall on me just yet, okay. Go! Oof! Okay, whatever. It won't, like, let me go. <laughs> Alright. Why can't I? I literally can't walk that way. Okay, I'm just getting crushed by things left and right now. Come on. Oh! Impaled. What 
What does the newspaper say? Gosh darn. <laughs> Getting killed over and over again. October 11th? Is this Friday? What? That's only four days away. <gasps> what Ooh. is this mess? The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zone. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Don't end, it's too cool. It's just getting good. Oh, that's so freaking crazy. I've got chills. That was such a good ending, such a cool little scene there. You never, like, you never get a game that really nails sort of that TV mystery intrigue, almost like Lost or something, and, like, that montage at the end is just perfect. First of all, there's a couple of characters I didn't recognize. Second of all, we see Rachel has a file, so someone must have kidnapped her. There must be something bigger going on. Also, this tornado, like, what are we going to do? Move the town? Get all of our favorite people out of there? Pick who stays and dies and lives and leaves? I mean, there's so much to talk about with this game. Gosh. Uh, basically, it seems like the big points right now are Max's power, where did it come from? Rachel Amber's disappearance and her tie with Chloe. Um, sort of Chloe's truth slash secret, if there is one, or if she's just a lost and dazed, confused girl got mixed up with Nathan after a drunk night. David Madsen and what he's after at Blackwell, if it has any tie to Rachel Amber in any way. I mean, the relationship between Max and Warren and Kate and Victoria, that all seems to be grounded more in reality. But there's like this overarching mystery that clearly like ties in the, the power, Rachel Amber's disappearance, the tornado. And how they're all linked, I don't even know. It almost feels like 
we've cracked the surface, but that the real roots of this game's storyline are still left buried until the further episodes. Um, I cannot wait for the next one. It should be here right now. Like, waiting even five, six weeks, which is what I've heard is the time frame, um, is going to suck because I want to know what happens now. Like, I feel like, man, if a game could do an hour episode every week, even like half of this episode, Life is Strange ended up taking me a little over two hours. I was very thorough. Um, but say they did half an hour episode once a week, like, how cool would that be? I know that would be such a demanding schedule for a development team, but, uh, if someone could ever nail that, like, an interactive TV show along the lines of Lost, that would be absolutely brilliant. If we go over to Choices, we reported Nathan along with 67%. Um, I comforted Victoria. Good. Most people are good, although 27% of people are nasty in her. Took a photo of David Harris and Kate, intervened. Um, and then the last one is interesting. You took the blame for Chloe... You blamed Chloe, you stayed hidden, you came out of hiding to intervene. How could you take that? That's interesting. I wonder, I don't. Even, I didn't even see the options for you took the blame for Chloe, or you blamed Chloe. When could I have done that? So I didn't, oh, if I didn't hide, I could have been found, and then I would either take the blame or blame Chloe. So I ended up doing, that's, that's a pretty interesting one. So you could, only 2% of people, like, didn't hide and then blame Chloe. Um, it's cool to see, I always love these numbers if you you know, know from Telltale they recap like this. I kind of wish we were on more of the like opposite track with people, um, but some of those decisions seem so hard to like argue with. Like, was I really gonna make fun of Victoria? And and what do these choices end up impacting later on? We've yet to see how Don't Nod uh, Entertainment messes with their decisions and what kind of effect they really have. We'll have to wait until episode two to really find out what level of um, effect and impact these choices have, and then we'll know you know how important they are. As of now, I don't know what reporting or not reporting Nathan does. I don't know what intervening or not intervening does. Um, there's a little button here for friends stats, which is kind of cool. So you can see if your friends played this game on your friends list. Um, you can go from friends and world, which I think is kind of interesting if you were you know comparing along with a uh, you know a group of friends. Um, and you can see all in all like the choices here. So these are sort of the big ones. It seems like these big four for episode one. Um, but then there's also little ones. You didn't let Daniel draw your portrait. I don't even remember Daniel. You signed Miss Grant's petition, um, so that was sort of a very split decision. You helped Alyssa. You erased the insults on Kate's slate. Um, I didn't even see the insults on Kate's slate. Uh, you didn't water your plant. I didn't. Um, you didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test because I rewound time. You didn't touch Victoria's photos. Uh, you didn't write on a dirty RV. Where was the RV? I don't even remember an RV. That dude popped out of the RV with a dog in the little montage at the end. Maybe that was something? Was that along the path to the lighthouse? You saved the bird? Or no, it had to be before that. Somewhere in the dorm area? I don't even know. The park. The parking lot is where it was. Okay. You didn't break Chloe's snow globe. I didn't even know she had a snow globe. This is cool that there are things we missed. And the reason I say that is because then maybe something I found might be different than something you found might be different than something he, she, whoever found, which is cool, because if we were able to experience all of it all in one playthrough, I think it would lose some of its effect. I hope that as this series continues, one thing that it explores and does well um, is diverting paths, or at least diverting experiences to some extent. Um, didn't leave any evidence, and uh, I read David's files, so that's interesting. Very cool. All right, cool. I, I really like this game. I don't know why the lip syncing is so bad. It seems like something that they should be able to fix. Um, pretty easily, and hopefully they take the feedback and do, because to me, that's the only sour spot in an otherwise stellar game. This is a great first outing for Life is Strange, a great first outing for episodic content from Don't Nod. Um, Remember Me wasn't received that well. I applauded them for their sort of unique idea, but it didn't seem to come together. This one merges unique idea and kind of comes together, forming a, I feel, a better package. If they could get the lip syncing down, I think it would score even higher. Um, I didn't feel it was very awkward. I kind of gelled with the characters pretty well and like got into sort of their emotions, their mindset, their mentality. I hope you guys did as well because I think that that immersion um, sort of dictates whether this is a 9 out of 10 experience or a 6 out of 10 experience for you, whether you feel like you can get along and get into the psyche of these different characters. I like Max. I like where this is going. I hope it pays off. It's one of those things that we won't really know until we get to the end, until we get to episode 5, but you can definitely count on me to bring you guys episode 2 when it releases. This was Chrysalis, Chrysalis, Chrysler, whatever it's called. Uh, next one. I can't wait for it, and hopefully it'll be soon. Um, like I said, the timetable I've heard is five to six weeks, so we're looking at 
Um, you know, sometime in March, we'll be back with Life is Strange Episode 2. I cannot wait for that moment. Curious to know you guys' thoughts on this storyline down in the comments below. Feel free to give me your theories, your thoughts on, you know, Kate's role, um, Rachel Amber, Chloe, David Madsen, the powers, the lighthouse, the tornado, the snow, all of it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Talk about it. I'll be reading what you guys are discussing down there in the comments. Till next time, everybody. Thanks so much for your support. I'm glad you guys enjoyed um, not only this game, which is more of a unique game as opposed to the traditional, you know, FPS nonsense, um, but also one that I took at my own pace. I, I love that you guys let me kind of explore and, and put the videos out um, when I was ready, and that felt really great to be able to do this series kind of the Ghost Robo way. So thanks for being a part of it. I appreciate and applaud you guys for being awesome. I love you all. Drink some hot chocolate. Watch out for creepy rewind powers. David Madsen. And tornadoes hitting Arcadia Bay. Till next episode, everybody. Fantastic day. Drink so much chocolate. Thanks again. We will see you all.